Yo, what is going on everyone? Today we're going to walk you through setting up and installing your very own 5PD server for 5M. Everything in this folder you can get by joining the Discord in the link in the description. Um, there is going to be um, some updates for server artifacts and I'll do a separate tutorial on that later, but everything for the most part is pretty well up to date. We also have the latest 5PD version which is V1.41. But do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you drop a subscribe on the channel. Let's jump into it. So we're going to head on over to the test server. This is just a little four core uh, test server that we have for testing purposes. And there's gonna be some things you need. First thing is gonna be WinRAR. This is a file that's gonna open everything up for you. Um, pretty much everything you're gonna deal with, with 5M and everything is gonna be a RAR or a zip. It's free, it'll give you a lot of ads, really wants you to buy it. It'll still work even after the uh, quote unquote trial period. The other things you're going to need are a database and Notepad++ and also XAMPP. So you want to download Notepad++. They make this one very easy. We're going to grab the 8.1.1 release. We're going to download this now. There we go. Alright, so we have WinRAR installed. Now we're going to install Notepad++. Some people prefer Microsoft Visual Studio. To me, it doesn't make a difference. I like how fast and easy Notepad++ is. It can be sometimes a little overwhelming going through uh, Visual Studio. We don't need to run it yet. Perfect, there we go. And now we're going to go ahead and grab um, XAMPP. And click download. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're on 64-bit. Maybe we are. Hmm. I don't know the right one to download here. Is it only coming 60? That doesn't make sense. Maybe it's an optional one. We'll see if it installs. Let's open up XAMPP now and install it. Make sure we don't get any errors, guys. Here's a splash screen. So you want to click Next. Next. You want this to be on your C drive. Whatever language you can choose here. Oh, interesting. I thought it had multiple languages. It is just English and Dutch. Next. You want to uncheck this. Click Next. Next. And this, depending on your server, can take a few minutes or a super long time. Once this is done, I'll walk you through the rest. But to prevent a whole bunch of dead air, I'm just going to stop the recording now and we'll jump back into it as soon as this is done installing, guys. Alrighty, the XAMP, XAMPP download or installation is just about finished. As you can see, we're on the uh, last hair here. So the other thing that you're also going to need is going to be SQL Lite or Heidi MySQL. Personally, I prefer Heidi. Heidi does good, so we're going to go with Heidi. We'll download that next and install it. XAMPP is a prerequisite, so you have to install XAMPP first in that order, and you have to start the MySQL service in XAMPP for Heidi to be able to function properly for your server. While it's doing the finishing touches, we will actually probably go ahead and download Heidi. Creating uninstaller. Final step. They want to make sure that you have the ability to uninstall and delete it. It's very considerate. getting stuck trying to load Heidi. Oh, there we go. Download the 32 and 64 bit combined installer. There we go. It's downloading. We're going to start the control panel. Actually, we may have to restart the VPS after installing Heidi.
So it is installing the VC++ 2019. So we do have to restart, guys. Hang tight just one more second. Alrighty. And the server's back online, guys. We gotta close all this kerfuffle. We gotta open XAMP. So MySQL right here now, we could use as a modules service, installed as a Windows service, or we could just press start. So we're gonna press start. This is gonna open up at PID 356 or port 3306. This is gonna be important later on, and I'll explain why. So right now, we're gonna right click, extract files. We're gonna put them on the C drive, click OK. It's extracting. When this is done, we'll have to go through and do a couple more things, and then we'll be able to do what would be considered the first launch of the server. Perfect. Let's go to C. We have the server here now. We're going to open up the server config. Edit with Notepad++. So we have to change this here. I don't believe this is a port we should be using. I believe we're supposed to use 30120. Uh, and this is up to you. You could run multiple servers on a single computer or network. So we have all the resources here. Very lightweight, guys. Um, this is a test, so uh, you want to update the language here to let people know what language your server is. This is what will show up there. Here you can edit banners. You can also change your host name. So ATL Canadian 5PD test server. And we can go ahead and go here and put a pound sign. Actually, uh, that's not really that important. We got the server logo turned off, but if you have a 96 by 96 PNG file, you can change the name to whatever you want, but you just uncomment this out and it'll load. If SV master, so the server's not going to be listed because it's just for testing purposes. Um, we can have max clients. So what we got to pull from now is our CFX key. You get this through Patreon by signing up for CFX Patreon. So you want to put that here. If you want to use Steam as a whitelist or an authenticator, you need to use the Steam Web IPI kite. Sorry, I kerfuffled that. Steam Web API key. I'll do a separate tutorial on how to generate one of those and put it in your server. It is really handy if you want to be able to protect your server, block people, kick them, etc. Um, server slots, we're just going to do one because later on I am going to test. We're going to click File Save and that part is done. This is awesome. We got to open up Heidi SQL. And we're going to create a new one. So we're going to call this one ATL Canadian 5PD test. And this is important. So the port on XF was 3306. So this is what it's at. There's no password. It's root. This is all default. Leave it this way, please, guys. Otherwise, it may not work. Click open. And now we're going to go here. We're going to right click and click create new database. And we're going to go 5PD. All right, so now what we have to do is go to the SQL and we're going to run it. Let's go to this PC. Let's go in here. Let's go to 5PD. There should be. Did I not include the SQL? I believe I did. Oh, it's in resources. That's my bad. There we go. So we're going to close out this instance. We're going to open up another one. Click OK. Click Open. And then you want to go up here when the database is selected and you want to run. So it just did everything. I got 11 warnings. Um, it's just about old character set. I don't think it's anything that's going to be very important. Now we can refresh. And we have everything here. Allow list. Data arrest reports, all this stuff. Um, so stay tuned for a later video where I do a full reveal of the 5PD server. But if you ever wanted to have your own 5PD server, this is how you do it. Everything is here for you. All you need is a server. Um, if you need a reference, I'll put one in the description. Amazon might be out of most people's reach and that's okay. There are plenty of other options to get you started, especially with 5PD. 
being not very resource intensive guys jump in the discord the 5pd server is going to be absolutely given to you absolutely free and support will be in the discord if you need it appreciate the support don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you drop a sub on the channel guys and one last thing after you smash that like button and the subscribe how you want to start the server is you want to go to server starter click right click click edit right here you want to change the name to whatever your folder is so this is mine so you can rename your folder after some server packs you can't because of the way that it's IP locked etc so there we go and you click file save and here's gonna be our first start guys double click starting all the resources it's gonna authenticate look there's everything else everything that we needed is here now there's one problem which I'm gonna show you everything started here it's authenticated there's one important piece that you need to see when it comes to uh, the database. So if you go into 5PD, there's config.json, edit with notepad++, and right here, if you're using Heidi, MySQL, you need to put MySQL here, instead of SQL Lite, and you click Save, and this will connect it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to relaunch, and I'm going to hop on and do a reveal. If you didn't tune into the reveal, I'm going to do a separate video releasing later this week, uh, showing the 5PD server as it is and how they work. They're really cool guys. We'll catch you soon.